Greetings, viewers. Uh, this is not a pen episode. This is an ink episode. As you can probably tell, we're going to be talking orange inks in this episode and only orange inks. I have 11 different inks from seven different manufacturers here. Uh, so I think this is a pretty good cross section of orange inks chosen from my ink collection. By, this is by no means meant to be the be all and end all of uh, orange ink uh, uh, overviews, but it is um, what I am doing today. So uh, like I said, 11 inks from uh, seven different manufacturers. A lot of different characteristics, properties, varying degrees of oranges, orangeness, yellowishness, etc. So we'll get into all that. I'm gonna. They're all inked up in different pens, so this is hardly going to be a super super scientific exercise. But um, uh, much like the blue ink uh, video I did a few months ago, I think you'll be able to get a pretty good idea of. Um, the characteristics of each of these uh, inks. So, without too much further ado, let's get um, right to it. Okay, first up is three inks from Noodlers. The first of these is Noodlers Habanero. So this is a really nice ink that um, that does a pretty nice job of shading. Not not shading quite as much as the next one, which we'll see in a minute. So this ink right here is Noodlers. Habanero. Um, and um, <clears throat> this pen is a uh, Jinhao. X750, but it has a Goulet stub nib. There you go. Um, you'll probably pick up some shading uh, there uh, as well, but um, we'll see some sh uh, shading uh, later on when we zoom in. So this is a Goulet X, I'm uh, sorry, Jinhao X750, Goulet Stub Nib, Noodleless Habanero. Next up is the king of shading inks, as far as I'm concerned. This is Noodleless Apache Sunset, quite, quite famous for shading. Um, and uh, you need a nice, broad, wet, or flexi nib to really appreciate this, and that's exactly what we have right here. So this is Noodler's Apache Sunset. And this ink, uh, pen is a very complimentary pen. This is a Noodler's Ahab. Um, and um, there we go, Noodler's Apache Sunset. This is, as far as I'm concerned, about as shading as shading shading inks can um, can get. Next up is um, an honorary um, um, member here. This is Noodler's Dragon's Napalm. Now, this is not generally considered an orange ink, but it's either pink or orange, depending on the light it's in. So I'm going to include it in this category, because when it is orange, it is actually quite orange and looks quite nice as an orange ink. But again, depending on the lighting, it may look not orange at all, it may look pink. So this here is Noodler's Dragon's Napalm. And... Um, this pen here is a Wing Sung. Six, one, eight. And that is Noodles Dragon's Napalm. And um, again, this is, like I said, an honorary member of this list because it's not always orange. It really varies on the lighting tremendously. But in the right lighting, it is absolutely a very nice shade of orange. In other lighting, it is pink. So um, again, your mileage may vary on that one, but I did want to include it. So that's the three Noodlers inks um, in this list. Um, you know, Noodlers inks get a bad rap in a lot of quarters. Some people say they're harmful on pens, etc. and so forth. I haven't found any of that to be true. Um, you know, and you have an ink like Base State Blue, which will stain, uh, etc. But, you know, that's, that's, that, you know, that's a well-known, and you have to just sort of take that with the territory, and it's not the only ink that will do that. Frankly, my biggest complaint about Noodles inks is the caps. 
these crack a lot. I have many, many that have cracked. I've had to try to glue them together sometimes with varying degrees of success, etc. So if I could make one suggestion to Noodles Inks, it's got nothing to do with the ink itself. It's the caps. Get better caps. Next up are a couple of great inks from Pilot Orochizuku. So the first one up, Fuyugaki. So we've got Orochizuku. Fuyu Gaki. And this pen is a Twisby VAC 700R. Roshizuku Fuyu Gaki. All right, next up is another Roshizuku ink from Pilot. We have a Roshizuku Yu Yaki. So here we've got Uroshizuku Yu Yake. And um, this a pen is a Pilot Falcon. And yeah, I know you want to see it flex, so here we go. I'll flex it a little bit for you. Okay, feel better. Um, and um, two different shades of orange, quite different actually, both from Orochizuku. Next up is a couple of inks from Robert Oster. First up, Robert Oster Orange Zest. So, there we go. Let's see, we've got Robert Oster. Orange Zest. And this is a Diplomat Arrow. With a nice broad nib. So that's uh, Robert Oster Orange Zest. And then the next one up is another Robert Oster ink, but this one's an exclusive from Pen Addict. Um, it is Robert Oster Fire on Fire. So this is a uh, Robert Oster. Fire on fire and this is a uh, moon man model m6 so there we go with that one again very different from the orange zest a lot of shading on this one very very nice uh, nice indeed Next up is an ink from Nemo Sign, Solar Storm 1859, and I've said it before, I absolutely love these bottles um, that Nemo Sign inks come in. These are some of the nicest, classiest looking ink bottles that I've seen. So Nemo Sign, Solar Storm 1859. So here we go with this one. So Nemo Sign, Solar Storm. Eighteen fifty nine, and this is a Nemo sign singularity. Um, this pen has been discontinued, but you can still pick them up, um, you know, uh, every, uh, around uh, in various places. But a uh, nice pen, they do not make it anymore, though. Uh, next up is a ink from J. Herban. Orange Indian. I don't have a full-size bottle of this one. I just have this cute little bottle, but boy, it is a cute little bottle. J. Hamban Orange Indian. And I didn't misspell it. That's how they actually spell it. I guess it's a, it's a French thing. And this is a Ranga 8B. J. Herban, orange, Indian. All right, 
Next up is uh, a pen, an ink from Birmingham, Birmingham Pen Company in Pittsburgh, Ra Albert Einstein Relative Cadmium. So here we go. We have Birmingham. Albert Einstein. Relative cadmium. And um, this pen is the Monteverde One Touch Tool Pen. This pen has the distinction of um, my review of this pen, the video review I did of this pen, is the um, least viewed video of all the nearly 100 videos that I've put up. So um, why don't you go back and look at my archive and uh, watch this video. Give, uh, give this pen a little bit of love. It's, it's not that bad a pen. Next up is, uh, and despite what Lamy says, is definitely an orange ink. So this next one up is Lamy Bronze. Um, this is how it comes from Lamy, Lamy Bronze. And yeah, this is orange, I don't care what they say. So, um, so we've got Lamy Bronze. And, um, this um, this pen is a Lamy Safari, and this they call the Bronze Edition. Okay, so the Bronze Edition pen is gold, and the Bronze Edition ink is orange. So they don't. I don't think Lamy knows what bronze looks like. Um, you want to know what a bronze ink looks looks like? Go get some Diamine Ancient Copper. That's what bronze ink looks like. But uh, yeah. This is not, none of this is, this is not bronze in any sense. But it's a nice color, it's a nice orange, that's for sure. Okay, so that is our 11 inks on, um, on this, um, uh, quickly on this Rhodia paper. Let's, um, let's uh, see how they look on, um, on Tomoe River paper, and we'll take a closer look at all the inks together. First up is uh, Noodler's. Habanero. There we go. And then right below that one, we're going to do a little noodlers. Apache Sunset. go. These things are very similar actually. Habanero is a bit darker. Apache Sunset shades a little bit more. Um, then we have Noodler's Dragon's Napalm. And again, in your lighting, it may or may not actually look orange, but it looks orange. In my lights. Next up is Eroshizuku Yuyake. No, oh, I'm sorry. This is Eroshizuku Fuyu Gake. This one is a Roshizuku. Yuyake. All right. Next 
Next up is Robert Oster. Orange. Zest. This is probably the red, this is probably the darkest, maybe and reddest of all of them, but it's still definitely an orange. Next one is a really nice one that shades quite nicely. We got another Robert Oster, so this is Robert Oster. Fire on fire. Fire on fire. All right. Next up is Nemocene. Uh, Solar Storm. Eighteen fifty nine. And then Next up is Birmingham. Albert Einstein. Relative. Cadmium. And then uh, next up, we've got uh, uh, J. Herban. Orange. Indian. And then our last one is Lamy Bronze. So let's back the camera up just a tiny bit here and we will get all the inks on the camera together. So let's just talk about these um, just for a minute here. Um, so in terms of shading, the ones that I would say shade the most would be the Noodles, ha Noodles Apache Sunset, the Habanero, and the um, uh, Robert Oster Fire on Fire. Frankly, I think those are the only ones that I would call shading inks, uh, really, from this perspective. In terms of darkness versus lightness, the darkest one is definitely the Robert Oster Orange Zest. The lightest is definitely the Birmingham Albert Einstein Relative Cadmium, maybe followed by the Apache Sunset. I mean, they're different types of light, but Apache Sunset is definitely a light ink, and so is the uh, Albert Einstein Relative Cadmium. The Habanero, and I said this on the video where I actually specifically talked about these two inks, the Habanero is a fantastic choice if you think Apache Sunset is a bit too light for you. It does pretty much almost all the shading that um, that Apache Sunset does. And in some cases, depending on the paper, etc., it might even shade more. Um, um, but it's darker and, and essentially more usable, really, uh, than, uh, than, uh, than Apache Sunset. Apache Sunset is too light for a lot of occasions. Again, Dragon's Napalm, like I said, can be pink, can be um, orange, depending on the light that it's in. It's a really cool ink. Um, it's just the color variation is really just kind of, kind of interesting. Fuyugake, um, is uh, a nice t uh, orange again on the darker side. Yuyake also a little bit um, on the on the darker uh, side as well. But again, it got a lot of this is going to vary depending on what the, the pen is. Again, orange zest, very very dark for an orange. In some sense, to me, it makes it one of the more practical orange inks in terms of if you want to use it for taking notes, etc. You just got a lot better contrast. Um, Solar Storm 1859, a very very um, nice shade etc um i mean all of these are nice there isn't a single one of these i dislike to be honest with you even i've been you know i've been dissing the lamy bronze because it doesn't look like bronze but it's a really nice shade of orange if they marketed it as i don't know 
dark orange or something like that, I, you know, <laughs> maybe I'd be a little more pleased. It's just, it's just not bronze. I mean, that's just that's just the only disc I have on it. Other than that, it's a really, really nice ink. Same thing with Orange Indian. Um, great, great orange ink, J. Herbon. I mean, it, they make they make really nice, uh, make really nice inks. So, which of my favorites here? I mean, which, what are my two, fa I'd say my two favorites, just in terms of just inks that I like. Um, I would go with the Robert Oster Fire on Fire. I would go with the Noodler's Habanero, um, and then I might go with the Orochizuku Yu Yake as a third choice. But to be honest with you, um, uh, I I don't think you can go terribly wrong with uh, with with uh, with too many of uh, with too many of these. These are re all really really nice inks, and um, I think they all they all work uh, they all work really really well. And I think you'd be happy with with um, with almost any of them. So um, I really hope that this was helpful um, in terms of um, uh, helping you folks uh, uh, maybe select an orange ink, or if you're not that familiar with orange ink, sort of introducing you to the fun-filled world of, uh, of orange inks. Um, so I think that will, will do it for this episode. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please, please subscribe if you don't already. Please leave a comment or two. Please keep those thumbs up coming. And as always, until next time, have a great day. Bye-bye.